Hey guys, it's Micah. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I just have a very quick video haul to do for you of the little items that I've been picking up in the last few days and um, I just thought I'd share them with you. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a couple of items that I have picked up um, a couple of weeks ago and I have already um, posted them on my Instagram account and they are the Fossil watches. The Fossil is celebrating their 30th anniversary this year so I decided to pick me up a little souvenir to um, to remember their 30th anniversary and um, but because I couldn't decide between the two watches that I was choosing from I decided to take them home both and um, the other one the first one is right here and it's the yellow gold and that's what it looks like um, I don't know it just called my attention when it was on the casing and there it is and the other one is this rose gold my very first rose gold watch and um, the thing that drew me to this one is the fact that the face is a different color than the bracelet it's got a brown tone on the inside and then the bracelet just I like the contrast of the two and that's the reason why I picked this one up so there it is and, um, the third item that I'm gonna show you is yet again another watch but this time is a swatch watch and the reason that why I bought this one is because of the bracelet and let me show it to you here it is this is the watch and is in rose gold once again and I really really love the links to this one um, let me take it out of the box so I can show you and here it is the face is very simple there's really not much to it just the hands and the four crystals in inside but the bracelet itself is the given I love the bracelet of this watch and that is the back there you go let me just put it on so that you can see how it looks on so there you go I just think this watch is a much um, dressier watch I guess there you go it's very lovely I fell in love with this watch the first the first minute that I saw it and it's slightly smaller than this one and it's re I think it's really really different than the other one so yeah there are my watches for this year and um, the next item I'm going to show you is actually um, this perfume that I have loved for years and a few years ago they have discontinued it and it's by Theory Muggler and it's Angel Innocent and it's kind of like the Angel perfume but with a much sweeter um, scent to it and that's the reason why that I preferred this over the Angel and um, so this was discontinued a long time ago but when my friend was in Montreal a couple of weeks ago she managed to find a store a perfume store that sells discontinued perfumes and by just by chance she asked and she uh, got lucky and she got the second to the last bottle available and um, I only asked her to buy me one because this perfume would last me probably for three years because I don't really wear perfume on a day-to-day -day basis because of my work but uh, yeah I am so happy to get myself another bottle of this perfume because I really really missed it and let me just open it up for you and that's how the bottle is and that's the top and I believe this is a French perfume there you go that's my most favorite my all-time perfume scent um, that I like in this world and um, so yeah the next item that I'm gonna show you is probably the not the most not so practical thing I've bought in my life because first of all I don't I don't think I'm gonna ever wear this item but because of the name and the packaging 
I caved and I'll show you what it is. Here it is, the Christian Louboutin um, nail polish and this is the classic red, the actual red color of the Louboutin shoes. And the reason why I said I'm, not, I'm never gonna wear this is because I don't really wear red nail polishes. But um, I would probably wear this guy once or twice, maybe every Christmas or on Valentine's Day. But um, I don't know. I just like the look of it. I think it's very, very nice to put on your vanity table and just a little decoration as a little decoration. So yeah, here it is, and it opens like so. And here is the nail polish. I don't know. I just thought it's really, really cute. I, t I, I said to myself that I'm never ever gonna buy one because of the price, but what the heck, right? You only live once. So yeah, that's the second to the last item that I'm gonna show you. And the last item that I'm gonna show you came in this box. And you know what it is. The Louis Vuitton, my, my all-time favorite brand in the world. So this is the first of this item from Louis Vuitton that I bought. And you can probably tell by the shape of the box what it is. So without further ado, here she is. My little monogram um, shawl. And it is in the dune color. I don't know if the light is gonna do justice to the color of this shawl but this is a very very beautiful color and the material is so soft. Here she is and I can't believe how big this item is. There you go. I have yet to watch on YouTube how to wear this shawl but um, yeah, I am uh, for sure going to enjoy her, um, especially for the winters that we have here in Winnipeg. Um, they're calling for yet again another brutal winter, meaning in the minus 40s, minus 45 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to need her or maybe a couple of it. So yeah, this one is the Louis Vuitton Paris. Um, silk and wool and it is made in Italy there you go so guys that's it this is my haul for today and um, I will see you on my next video thank you for watching and you guys have a great fall bye